Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my Formula 1 2020 My Career Mode. Racing as Michael Schumacher for the Haas F1 team. This is round 17 of the championship. We are in Russia. We are at Sochi and we have no upgrades on the car from Singapore. We haven't finished or completed any of our upgrade programs, <laughs> R&D parts. So unfortunately, unfortunately, um, no, no performance gains for this this race, which I envision is going to be a little bit maybe like Singapore, and that it's probably going to be a challenge, especially as I've got the softer tyre allocation for this race, because I've obviously I'm, I'm kind of locked in until after this race, which means I'm also going to have the problem in this race that I had in Singapore where I can't qualify on the medium tyres. I don't have a set available in qualifying to qualify on the medium tyres. Um, so it's going to make life a little bit difficult for me. But at the end of practice, free practice three, I have completed all the team programmes, which is very good. Because if you cast your mind back to the last video, I failed the fuel management program. <laughs> I could so not do it. And even more impressively, at this moment in time, I have been the fastest guy in every single session. I have topped every single session of free practice. Now, I know you don't get any points for practice. If you did, Valtteri Bottas would be the Formula One champion this year. <laughs> because, you know, that's kind of how it's gone in real life. Bottas in real life has pretty much dominated every it's practice session. But then come qualifying in the race, are, he's nowhere. Leclerc, and, and Lewis Hamilton, who knows that qualifying in the race are the only thing that time. count. Goodbye. That's where he does his work. So, um, what I have to try and do is find a way to take this performance into Q3. Not really, because we haven't had any. However, I am trying to keep the team's morale up, so hopefully they won't fail any components that are that are currently in the um, in the queue. And uh, they'll let me um, be able to keep on keeping on <laughs> sort of thing. So at this moment in time, my whole process to um, those interview questions is just to keep the department morale up. So hopefully they don't mess up my upgrades. We'll also need to check and see at what point of the season. I mean, we're in right round 17 now. There's only 22 races. There's not a lot of the season left. I therefore wonder how much of a... whether we're going to get any FIA kind of interference um, and any kind of resetting of the rules and regulations screwing up the hard work we've done this year on our car development and performance. It could, it could happen. It could happen. They could turn around at any moment and say, yep, yeah, we're resetting. Um, we're resetting uh, chassis. So all my chassis upgrades would be taken away for the next season. They could say, we're resetting the engine. And then all my engine upgrades would be removed for the next season. I hope they don't take away durability because I really like the fact that my car is pretty much bulletproof in terms of reliability and durability. And the fact that we've done upgrades means in year two, we're going to be even better at the start of the season. I mean, I'm hoping I can get through this season without having to take any extra like engine parts or anything, um, which would be very nice. Or it might get to the stage where we have a particular race in the season and I just decide to take an extra power unit start at the back of the grid and go you know what i sacrifice this race um for the benefit of having that extra power unit <laughs> available to me the next race in the calendar is at japan i wonder if maybe at japan i should maybe look at taking maybe an extra 
a complete extra engine, a fourth engine. Whole new load of parts, and then I'll definitely get to the end of the year, won't I? Definitely be able to get to the end of the year. So here we are in Q1, where I'm going to need to... Uh, it's going to be difficult, I think. The fact I don't have that medium set of tyres means I'm just qualifying every session on the softs. So, it's not going to, I don't really have any strategy for qualifying. There's no, because I don't have any different tyres available to me. So, it's just going to be a case of go out on the soft tyres, which, again, I've not run on. <laughs> not done a lot of running on in practice. So, that first corner took me by a bit of surprise. <laughs> As I'm trying to figure out the grip of these tyres. Now, people out there watching this might ask, why don't you use soft tyres in practice then, Seawaddy? Why don't you actually do some practicing on the soft tyres in free practice? And the obvious answer to that question is, I don't really want to. After doing my practice programmes where they actually specify what tyres you have to use to do the practice programmes, I don't really do any running in free practice. In Certainly, I did pretty much all of the qualifying the practice programs in Q1 in practice one the, with the only one I didn't do was the race strategy in free practice two at this circuit it was actually raining so I did the race strategy on intermediate tires and then in three practice three I just did one lap just so that I had participated and get the points for participating in every session but yeah, so I don't use the soft tyres. Unless the practice programmes call for soft tyres, I don't use them <laughs> in practice. So this is my first experience of driving this track on soft tyres in a Formula 1 car. Because obviously we was in GP2 last year. We've had GP2 engines. <laughs> but this, is a, this looks like being a decent lap. It's going to be okay. I'm certainly not going to have any issues getting out of Q1. In fact, apart from, I think, Monaco. Was it Monaco? Or am I getting confused with GP2 season? You've just put in the fastest lap. I, think I've, I don't think I've ever been eliminated from Q1. Don't think I have. So anyway, we go back to the Our time screens, so far, whereby we are top 5. of the time sheet. A 131.5, that's that's good enough for Q1. Uh, don't expect anybody, no, everybody's in the pits looking at that, so I don't think anybody's going to surprise me with a final lap. Heroics. Here's the stupid podium pass stuff. I haven't completed this, and I believe there's only eight days remaining in this current um, season. And the simple reason for that is, obviously, I'm only playing the game once a week now recording these videos once a week i'm not playing every single day like when the game first came out so i'm not progressing through the podium pass stuff anywhere near as quickly and honestly i don't care that much for the customization items and all that business unless you're playing online and unless you're playing my team all that podium pass stuff has no purpose or relevance to anybody you know it doesn't serve any any functionality what I would have liked um, to have seen in maybe podium passes, maybe getting some extra tracks or circuits, you know, like we've seen in real Formula 1. All the tracks from this year would have been nice. Portimao, Mugello, um, Imola, you know, all them all, all them good circuits that we've, we've Nürburgring. It would have been nice if they'd been put on podium pass as unlockables that you have to work towards work towards unlocking and getting a hold of that would have been very nice indeed but obviously codemasters are never going to do that they're never going to put anything useful in their game <laughs> in their podium pass and another reason why the podium pass is so useless to me is because again i played the game with mods and as soon as you install any mods you can't play online you can't unlock achievements and stuff so again the podium pass has absolutely no purpose to me. It's a complete waste of space. 
But here we go, Q2. We're out here, trying to put in a good time. Trying to see if we can be heroes, just for one day. <laughs> oh, got a bit close to the wall there. This is definitely another circuit where you don't really want to make any mistakes because they will be punished with bits of carbon fibre flying off and possibly wheels. So we need to get in. Whoa, frame hitch there. Bit laggy. I hate it when it does that into a corner. I really still need to get my game fixed, by the way. <laughs> um, the problem, as I've probably mentioned before in the series, is that I have the game installed on the same hard drive that I record all my videos onto. So during a game, the performance is slightly, it can be impacted by that. And especially when the, the video reaches a certain point, like crosses over like four gig or something. Um, but also what I notice is as I'm running out of hard drive space on that drive, because I really need to go and delete some videos, the, the stutters and stuff get a lot, lot worse. <laughs> and the temporary like laggy bits. I mean, obviously, at some point it will happen and I will crash and I will die. And at that point, that's when We're I will probably try and fix it. <laughs> but <laughs> until that happens, I'm probably just going to keep ignoring it and complaining about it in these videos. Because, <laughs> you know, me, me, me clearing out some hard drive space is like, it requires me to do work and I don't want to do that you know I just want to play and record I don't want to have to do housekeeping on my computer system <laughs> right Q3 we don't have a lot of options we've got one set of tires meh meh let's just go for it I've been top of every single session thus far what are the odds that Valtteri Bottas is going to beat me in qualifying in Q3. He's going to put it on pole, as he always does every single race. He sets in a completely impossible lap time. Just, just giving myself a bit of room to start the flying lap. I was also trying to see if I could uh, uh, change my ERS deployment mode, but I can't. Right, we're off. Operation, try and put it on pole, is underway. Keep it as tight to the inside here as you can, because you can make up a lot of time there. You make the track shorter for a start. Clerk's got fastest lap. I definitely need to take that away from him because obviously he is my title rival or my current rival, not title rival, but you know what I mean. He's my current rivalry and I must beat him. So let's put the hammer down. Let's get the pace and let's make sure we finish ahead of Leclerc. Fastest lap, Bottas. 131. Yeah, see, Bottas has done his usual trick there. The flipping fake lap time. It's about time flipping Codemasters fix that in the game as well, because Bottas never ever gets pole position in real life. He's not good enough. He's not faster than Lewis. I wouldn't mind if that was Lewis constantly every race setting an unrealistic, impossible, fake lap time. But because it's Bottas, I absolutely hate that. You know, I would sooner if if Codemasters are going to try and make the game anything like realistic, they would make sure it's Lewis who has the fake lap time, so he's actually top of the time sheets. But anyway, as we can see, Bottas has beat me for pole position by three tenths of a second. So I start in P2, but I'm front row of the grid, and as we know from every race in this series so far. I have We're been pretty good at starting race, races, begin, which means I thoroughly expect to be in P1 by the first corner. 
Well, that wraps up qualifying. And knowing so Bottas, we'll be back he probably won't make it the past the first corner. So it's going to be a win-win for me in this situation, I think. And we've beat Leclerc, so that's put two points, which will give us 25, leaving us five away from victory. When it says one race remaining, that means the next race. That means Japan. It doesn't mean this race. So he has got one chance, but he's not going to beat me. He can't now. Mathematically, he can't, he can't even draw level with me on mathematics. And if, generally right. speaking, if I have a good race with, you know, fastest lap, win, etc, 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 I would get five points, which means I would win anyway. But anyway, let's not think too long and hard about that. Let's focus on the task at hand, which, of course, is this race. Here Welcome at along then to Sochi and the, the Disneyland looking Russian Grand Prix. Russian one of eight cities in the world to play host to both the Olympics and a Formula One race. It's a Grand Prix that's proven difficult to crack for anyone beyond the first two rows of the grid in recent years. So let's see if that can change today. Situated just three miles from the Georgian border, the 3.6 mile Sochi Autodrome has two notable overtaking opportunities into turn one and then turn 13. 18 corners in total here, 12 to the right and 6 to the left. And it's an average lap speed. It's a bit one-sided, 12 to the right, hour. 6 to the left. A bit uneven. Not very well balanced, this circuit. Anthony Davidson is alongside me as usual for the race today. Let's talk about Schumacher. What do you make of their performance so far this season? It's been a really solid year so far. There have been some incredible standout performances, but what's really impressed me has been the consistency. With this kind of form, I'm expecting another great race today. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The <coughs> fake, from fake position. lap time. And fake lap time from Bottas. The front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Gasly, Sergio Perez, and Albon, Grosjean, Leclerc, Stroll, and Sebastian Vettel, Kvyat, Norris, Max Verstappen, and Sainz. Ricardo, Latifi, Kimi Raikkonen, and George Russell. Ocon, they've taken a grid penalty. And Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Very interesting grid line up there. Okay, Both Ferraris made the top 10. You can do. Do Max Verstappen didn't. <laughs> right, so we're going to go on the soft to medium strategy we're obviously going to take a few extra laps of fuel we'll take 29 laps two extra laps i might not be able to burn through all of that <laughs> we might not be able to burn through all of that in the race but we'll see and so it's five red lights and then it's away we go Was a close start. Oh, what was Bottas? Well, well Bottas is uh, Bottas is dead. Safety car, safety car. No overtaking. Reduce he, didn't your pace. he didn't even Keep make it to the first corner. Form up. Drop your speed. Our delta is too low, Ooh. and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace Seriously. What is that guy's problem? What is that guy doing? I mean, I pretty much don't think I did anything wrong there. Um, we'll go back and check a look at the replay. So here's the race start. I'm on the left. Bottas is obviously on the right. I got a good, good getaway. I'm in the lead. Bottas just sweeps in and he tagged me. And he's completely dead in the background there. Well, Bottas, that was uh, not very good. And it's goodbye for you. So, um, yeah, we'll carry on. I'm amazed he didn't collect any other cars there after that. He literally just dived to the inside of the track, straight into the back of my car. What an idiot. I know I was joking in earlier in the video when I said he would probably not make it past turn one, 
He didn't even actually get to turn one. Such is his fucking idiocracy. And then we've got a safety car yet again <laughs> to start the race here in career mode. I'm getting, I'm getting used to these safety cars now. And honestly, at this point in time, Bert Mylander, the safety car driver, has probably actually okay, driven down, more down. laps your and led more laps negative, than Valtteri Bottas has Reduce all season. <laughs> I mean, it brings you back to that, you know, that age-old, you know, pearl of wisdom. A race cannot be won on the first lap. To finish first, first you must finish. <laughs> We're coming up to the safety car do now. Do I do you not? There is you no the try. Follow the safety car. No, no, that's a Star Wars reference, isn't it? That's not Formula One. <laughs> so I'm going to be saving tyres here, obviously, under the safety car, and we're going to be saving fuel. Not too sure why the safety car needs to be out so long in this situation. Um, because there's only Valtteri to scrape up off the uh, off the roadside. I'm trying to do that trick again where I... Um, the brake and throttle pressed so I'm constantly heating the brakes trying to keep heat in the tyres it works to some degree in some parts of the track okay, in other parts of the track the safety car obviously gets we'll away from me sure which means I have to speed up and the then there's other parts the of the track line. where the safety car is too slow and even with me with the brakes on I'm still actually going faster <laughs> But the safety car is coming in this lap, so we just need to back everybody, or we need to take it nice and steady. Like I say, at coming out the final corner, that is when I want to bolt. We need to bolt it out of that final corner. So here we go, get ready guys. Rich Mix and ERS. Okay, clear. There we go. We're off. We're off and running. Need Lewis to uh... <coughs> excuse me. Need to try and get away from this Mercedes. He's, uh, he's look, he definitely looks like he wants to take the race lead. We've got swing. a lot of spare energy. Use your overtake button. I will try and use the overtake button, Jeff. Don't worry. I will try and use ERS. as well as rich mix. The good thing is there's no DRS for these next couple of laps. So I've got a little bit of time to try and get away from Lewis. Especially while I'm in this initial start phase of the race where I'm quite heavy because of the extra fuel. He is going to be lighter than me. He's going to get a great toe down into first one if he stays in the slipstream. He actually set a faster lap than me as well.
I shouldn't be driving looking at the rear view mirror. I should just ignore the rear view mirror and focus on the track in front of me. <laughs> Not the best line into that corner. It gives Lewis a chance. I was expecting a dive bomb from him there, in all honesty. Oh, we've gone super deep. Here he comes. He's on the inside. And he's hit me. Lewis is hit me. He's done a bot ass. Keep a close eye on that delta time. Make sure to keep it positive. Seriously, right, what so is it with these guys? It looks like the problem is terminal. They're retiring the car. What is it with these guys launching assaults on me? So Lewis takes inside, runs wide into me. I've then got obviously racing line and he's trying to turn in. Yeah, I'm on the inside. Well, bye bye, Lewis. Thanks for coming. Join Bottas in the uh, hospitality suite. Second safety car of the day, everybody. Here on lap four. <laughs> We've had one lap of running. <laughs> so far in the race. And we've lost both Mercedes. And we've got the pink Mercedes behind us. Who was pitted. Roman so Perez must have... Um, well, I guess, I guess they're, uh, they're taking the op opportunity to box under the... Um, under the safety car. Cheap pit stop. It's too early. It's too early to think about pit stops. And I should put in the hard tyre on. And I don't know if I would want to do 22, 23 laps on the hard tyre on this circuit. It's a gamble. Some got some cars will try it. Whether the time they save in the pit stop equates or betters the time they lose over the 20 laps that they're running on the hard compound and the time they're going to lose every single lap by being slow. You know? very slowly Bert in the middle of the track when I need to get past are you coming in this lap Bert no it doesn't look like he's coming in this lap I wonder if that's because of the likes of Perez Grosjean and some of the others who pitted now means that he's got to stay out a little bit longer so they can actually catch back up a with the, uh, is available on the, MFT. With the uh, queue. Uh, we're going to stay on our existing strategy. Okay, Jeff, I know he wants, he wants me Do to pit, it. He wants me to pit this lap for a set car. of hard tyres. I don't think so, Jeff. I don't think so. Let's stick to our current plan. In fact, actually, Jeff... Let's go longer now into the race because the soft tyres have not been doing any actual stress. And then let's um, let's box later on in the race, put the mediums on, and then we'll be uh, in a much better position. Because we'll be able to hammer the medium tyres because we'll have less laps to do. And the other cars will all be on hard, so we'll have the tyre compound advantage. Oh, 
Verstappen is out of the session. Mechanical failure for Max Verstappen. Mm, that doesn't really, you know, help his title chances. In actual fact, as far as title rivals go, that's Max, second place championship guy out of the race. And of course, Lewis, third place title rival out of the race. So providing my car keeps running, I will be uh, extending my lead in the championship. Safety car is in this lap. Safety car in this lap. You will be controlling the pace on the restart. Keep it steady until the safety car has reached the pit lane. Okay, Jeff. I've got this under control, Jeff. I know what I'm doing, Jeff. I did a great job on the first restart. This one's probably going to be even easier because I'm not going to have a Mercedes behind me. We've got Gasly in his Alfa Tauri, and then we've got Alex, I'm looking for a job, Albon. <laughs> uh, they're not exactly going to be problems. Leclerc is obviously not going to be an issue now either, since the performance update. Right, let's do it. Around the corner. Bolt for it. Bolt for it. Much like on the first restart. Give it the full beans. ERS. Rich mix. Try and get away from these guys. Break any kind of toe that we're giving them. I'm not taking the ultra tight line around that bend yet. I probably need to do that. I, I, I can actually gain a lot of lap time by running much tighter to that wall. I'm taking that corner much, much tighter. Once you get out onto some of these curbs, it's also a good idea just to keep going in a straight line. Do not try to turn back onto the track too early, otherwise you will lose the car. You will spin. Sometimes it's better if you have run wide just to stay wide until you're off the uh, AstroTurf and the, uh, uh, and, and the curbs. Already we've put a second. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Put a second between us and the cars behind, which is great. It means when race control enables DRS, they're not going to be a threat to me. And in actual fact, it looks like they're going to be squabbling with each other now at this point, which means I'm going to be gaining even more time to them. So yeah, pit window for us is uh, lap 10. That was the agreed upon stopping lap. However, we are going to uh, extend that because of the safety cars. Let's use overtake and burn some of this energy. Yeah, we've got quite a bit. Quite a bit left at this point in time. funny because in race trim everybody seems pretty a heck of a lot slower than they were in qualifying and practice which means I'm not actually having to use that much ERS around the circuit right now I'm getting by okay, the stewards have now enabled DRS. Rich mix. DRS is now online we're leading our teammate by 9.9 .9 seconds so yeah all is going well at this moment in the race DRS has been enabled, but we are well clear of any DRS threat. Um, so I guess we keep running now up to our eventual pit stop.
like I say, hopefully we strap on the mediums, everyone else straps on the hards, and bingo, bango, bongo, it's job done. Another race win for Michael. And Team Haas. But we'll see, see how it goes. Constantly setting purple sectors at the moment, which is good. Give me that bonus point for fastest lap. Come the end of the race, hopefully when we're in the uh, top 10. I definitely should not be finishing outside the top 10 today. In this lap, in this lap. If I somehow manage to come ninth or something today, that's going to be terrible. I've done something very wrong. Be a little bit careful of that orange curb in that good. corner. Yeah, tire condition is still good, Jeff, which is obviously why I'm not boxing. And keep going. Look, I mean, we ain't even at 50% worn yet, Jeff. And you want to beat box? You want me to stop and come in and put on stupid new tires? I don't think so, Jeff. At least let's wait till everybody else pits first. And let's try and then do a bit of a extension. So when they pit, we take advantage of them being a little bit slow for their first couple of laps after the pit stop whilst they're building up tyre temp. Uh, try and put a, a bit of a gap to them during the pit stop phase. Still not boxing yet. Still not boxing yet. Okay, some of the uh, front runners are st starting to box now. I noticed Gasly's boxed, and I saw Kvyat box there as well briefly. So, um, once these guys all start making their stops, then we'll, uh, we'll think about coming in for our one and only. Our one and only pit stop of the race.
Yeah, that orange curb on the inside of that corner. You don't really want to hit that. If you can help it. A lap 13. All the other guys are stopped now. Albon, the clerk, stroll their right, box in. The We've got Grosjean then, who's going to take over second place. Our teammate. Who's currently sitting 13 seconds behind us. Hopefully that's enough of a gap. I need to make my stop and get back out in the race lead. If not, hopefully I'll be close enough that I'll be able to launch uh, an attack on them with the uh, softer tyre compound. The better tyre, the faster tyre. But we'll see. And we're setting purple sectors. That's fantastic. It's what we need on an in-lap. We need the hammer time. Looks like a good in-lap. Looks like a good in-lap. We've used all the DRS we're allowed to. Oh, there's that orange curb. Alright, box, box, box. Three seconds stop. Coming up. Should be, uh, should be alright. Should be cooking, hopefully. Shouldn't be too far uh, away from being still in first place because you know that's important that's very important and guys are changing tires when uh, what's going on what's what have, why have i got a penalty go, go, go. why have i got a five second penalty there why have i served a that seven and a half stop. second stop no more scheduled pit stops does anybody know why I got a penalty there? The stewards didn't give me a five second penalty for Bottas or Lewis, did they? Because they drove into me. Oh, that is unbelievable. That's completely ruined my race, that has. Because now Grosjean and Perez are ahead of me and significantly ahead of me. Flipping 15 seconds, nearly Grosjean is ahead. That's going to take some uh, catching up. I was expecting to come out, you know, maybe five or six seconds behind them. But damn to serve a five second stop and go for what for what crime have i committed i got speared by bottas at the start of the race and then i had flipping lewis like a moron try and do the same thing a couple of laps later just tried to drive through me as if i didn't exist as if i wasn't a real boy the car behind is a second down on you one second about the cars behind me Jeff I'm more concerned now with the two cars that are ahead of me that have got quite a, an advantage now because of that flipping unwarranted penalty pull back another five I mean I knew I was gonna have to pull back sometime on them that they may have overtaken me in the pit stop but that would have been doable that would have been achievable but now to have a whole five extra seconds that I've got to try and claim back as well, that's a bit harsh. Oh, am I going to suffer another embarrassment of having to of losing yet another race to my teammate? Please tell me Grosjean is not going to win this race. <laughs> I don't think I could handle Grosjean winning another Grand Prix.
Come on. We need something here, guys. We need something. Okay, clear. Some information on Vettel. And there it they is. Out of the race. Okay, the safety car is out. The safety car is Vettel out. is out of we the race. At a reduced pace. Keep a and we've got a safety Delta car. Time. Make sure to keep it positive. Oh, my friend Bert Mylander. <laughs> Coming to my rescue once again. Right, let's 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 catch up to Perez and Grosjean. Oh, safety car. The safety car is waiting for the leader. You okay, I can overtake, overtake it. it. Overtake the safety car. <laughs> I can overtake it, which means I can chase down Grosjean and Perez. I can make sure I'm right behind Drop them. Your speed. Our delta is too low, and we oh, risk come a penalty. On. Slow your pace immediately. Stop giving me this delta crap. I need to catch the safety car. Q. You can't be giving me this Delta crap. Come on. This is why it takes fucking 20 flipping laps to get rid of a safety car. Because you won't let people catch it. The quicker everybody catches the safety car, then you can slow everyone down for a few minutes. And then you can get the safety car out of the way. It's very difficult to catch a safety car when you keep telling me to drive slower. Game. Just saying. Just saying. And look at that. I'm still 14 seconds behind Grosjean and Perez. You're not letting me catch them. Slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace. Right, let's go. Hopefully the delta crap has finished now. So I can just chase after and try and get right up behind Perez and Grosjean. Need to get behind them. Because if the race goes green now and they just take off and running again at race pace, I ain't going to catch them. Oh, come on, we need to get, we need to get there. There we go, time's coming down, time's coming down. They're just up ahead. There they are, caught them. Right, I'm going to have a bit of racing to do in these few final laps. Got two cars to dispatch. I tell you what, Perez is probably having flashbacks now to the last race at Singapore, where in a similar situation, I was behind him. I was behind him in a safety car and absolutely launched an overtake on him into turn one and got past him on the restart but the only bit of success i had in the singapore race <laughs> so here i am again sergio coming to get you come on right safety car if you could come in this lap it'd be great Safety car okay, is in this lap. Ready to go racing again. The safety I'll tell you what, Bert's listening to me. When the field I'll tell you what, Bert must be on my team no radio. Until the green flags. Safety car in this lap. Bert must be dialed into my team radio because he's doing exactly what I'm telling him. Oh, I'm a little bit too far behind here. Uh, I'll tell you what, this is going to be some Danny Rick style send it into turn one. I'm a bit too far back. I love how I broke myself. We'll let Perez pass because, you know, illegal overtakes and all that. But we're going to just take the tight inside line and we are going to do him. We are going to do him. There we are. Perez has been dispatched. Just like in the last race. He must hate safety car restarts when I'm behind him. Because <laughs> he knows he's losing that position. Oh, it's coming back. 
He's coming back. Ah, Perez has hit me. Well done, Perez. He's done the Lewis, but he's actually managed to keep the car running. Again, he just drives out wide and hits me. What an idiot. I did kind of push him towards the wall there a little bit. I did. I did. But that was after he'd already made contact with me, so, you know, all's fair in love and racing. Right, that just leaves Grosjean now ahead of me. Who we need to get after and try and get past. This if might require past, a bit of DRS. I'm not going to be able to cruise up behind him and pass him as easily because he's in the same car as me. He's got the same toys at his disposal. Same performance, more or less. I would hope he would have less because he doesn't generate as many research points as me. For in practice, which means he shouldn't have as many upgrades on his car as me. Because he doesn't earn them. But we'll see. Looks like I just gotta get close to him, gotta keep within that one second window. And um try our best. Stay uh so when when the stewards re-enable DRS, the drag reduction system, we can utilize that to assist us in overtaking him. Either down this straight here or down the main start, finish straight into turn one. in a couple of those corners losing a bit of downforce I suspect in the dirty air coming off the back of Grosjean's car DRS has been enabled DRS is now enabled so we're going to get a DRS boost down here we're too far back though we're not going to be able to launch into turn one far too far back so we'll buy our time We'll wait till the uh, second DRS zone. We might be able to get a bold move into turn 13, or whatever it is. Probably save my ERS at this point. too far back I think even with DRS I'm not going to be able to get in a position where I can break him nope start finish line it is again then but I've got to stay close to him I keep letting him in these slow zones keep getting away from me can't afford to let him do that can't afford to let him do that Need to be closer. Come on. I need to be right under his gearbox. Might have a better chance this time. This might Great be work. it. That's a new fastest lap of the race. I've got DRS. We are closing. We're closing. Do not turn in on me. Roam on. Have to go a little bit wide there. Exceed track limits a little bit. Just to make sure, he really did push that hard. He didn't break as early as I expected him to. Perez did that as well, to be fair. Perez was super late breaking into that corner. It's about one of the only times I've seen um, the AI not break so early. But now, obviously, the challenge is to get away from Grosjean and get out of the DRS zone, 
He's currently 0.6 of a second behind me. Need to increase that gap to over one second. And then we're pretty, I think we're pretty much going to be home and dry then. Unless there's any... <sighs> Fingers crossed there isn't any late dramas. And I should be home and dry. Job done. We've seen off all our title rivals. We've seen off our rival rival. Because um, obviously, I don't know where Leclerc is in the race currently, but he's clearly not ahead of me, which means he's not getting five points today. Which means hopefully, I've beaten him comfortably in this rivalry. Oh, I'll tell you what, I got a bit sloppy there, didn't I? That was not how to drive that those corners that's allowed Grosjean to get back into the uh, the RS window is 0.4 of a second I'm going to take the super tight line and that will give me a little bit of a gap I will turn the motor down as well soon. I've been running rich mix for a lot of the race. Still haven't burnt off my excess fuel at this point. But obviously I'm concerned about the temperatures of the engine and the extra wear that I'm putting on it. Although to be fair, I'm still thinking I might take an extra, extra, an extra brand new engine for the next race. We got, you know, especially with today's result, now that Verstappen and Hamilton haven't finished and haven't scored any points, I can afford to take a race off. <laughs> I can afford to take Japan off. i take a extra power unit. Maybe even take an extra gearbox as well. Why not? <laughs> Definitely make it through then to the end of the season with a brand new engine. this comes across on the actual video for you guys watching it it might not because obviously the filter I put on the video in OBS to make the uh, game footage always a bit brighter and then raise the gamma but the track is starting to get a lot darker we've got clout are we going to get any rain I'm wondering because it's starting to get very cloudy and overcast Fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. Two and a half second lead now. Nice. Five laps of fuel remaining. Now well, let's turn the motor down. Back to standard. Let's try and save a bit of engine wear in these last four laps.
defensive line. It is actually faster. <laughs> it is actually faster. It's definitely getting more cloudy and overcast. Uh, doubt it's going to make any impact on the race, though. You are in Let's first try and get a weather attack. report. Uh, a no weather report. No. I keep clicking all good. the wrong things. <laughs> Bear with me. Let me get to another bit of a straight section of the track before I start fiddling with the menus. You don't want to be fiddling with your menus when you're going through corners. Uh, we'll see if Jeff's got any weather forecast for us. In a minute. No rain expected. No rain expected for the time being. Dry seem like the best tyre for now. Okay, Jeff. I'll trust you. There's only two laps to go. Uh, although, flipping air, Grosjean is right behind me. Uh... There's three laps of fuel remaining. Wow, I've been taking it comfortably and they've absolutely banzai'd it. So we need to go back up to Rich Mix. Because he's in DRS now. He's in the DRS window. How's he took two seconds off me? <laughs> Perez is there too, and is Gasly and uh, Albon. You know, this is one of the closest finishes to a race we've had. Now would not be the time to pick up a penalty, a five second penalty or anything for track limits. So need to be careful. Got one more lap to go and we need to be very super careful. Ooh. Okay, they didn't penalise me there. That was this good. Is your final lap, final lap of the race. We are outside the DRS window. Good, so that he's not, Grosjean's not going to get DRS down here. Let me see if the calls, right, fast line, aggressive line. There we go. Definitely trying to keep it between the white lines, this this lap. Don't want any uh, track limits. Um, a little bit more reserved on some of these corners. be a fastest lap here on the last lap. It was. <laughs> nice work. That's P1. Race win. Well done. Whew. Carlos Science driver of the day. Oh, that's nice to see. Bit more reassuring that. Great, great work from the Hatties. Still have nightmares they about the last the race where they gave it to here Bottas. To so, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, the safety car completely changed the race, didn't it? It's hard to say exactly what would well, have all happened three of them. it, but there's no question that they came out of that situation in a good position.
There aren't many teams, you know, as they come out onto the podium now, who could do what Haas have managed to accomplish here. It's hard to believe just how competitive they've already become. An amazing victory. Another podium finish. So podium pass points, which like I say, we don't care about. We're certainly not going to complete the tier this time. So I'm then, not. it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. Schumacher increases their championship lead. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Roman Grosjean's my driver of the oh, day. Oh, Carlos Sainz took, the took fastest lap off me at the end. All respect to the fans' what choice, they fully back. deserve it. But I just feel that my pick had a little more on their plate. So their ability to keep a cool oh, head take back and come now. through the about that. finish made the difference, at least in my opinion. Let's so, move on to the constructors. Haas make it to the top of the oh, table. I got, oh, I, yeah, I got for my five-second penalty weekend, then. I did get for further up the order. Lewis Hamilton well, driving into, into me. Fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone back, who Lewis. joined us, <laughs> and we'll see you for the next one. Oh, yeah, Carlos Sainz set the fastest lap on the last lap. Well, can't do anything about that. Out there today. Let's have your thoughts. You really looked in control of your car out there. Your team must be thrilled. And I'm thrilled with their support during the race. I think that's the correct answer. Well, looks like your luck has changed. Things went a lot better than last weekend, didn't they? They did. They did. The improvements we've made to the aero package are How insane. Up on the podium? Uh, they keep me on my toes. Try and be diplomatic. Well, yeah, not my fault. Any of them. Yeah, I got punished. Um, doesn't appear to be an option, though, does it, Codemasters, eh? Every single one of these options is actually going to do my team morale a disservice. Right. That's, well, that's not really thing. fair. You know, you need to give us the correct options, Codemasters. In situations like that, where obviously the clear answer is, they hit me. Oh, and because I suffered that penalty, I'm one point short of beating Leclerc. So we do have to go to Japan. And I do have to beat him in Japan. Oh. could have won there if I if I hadn't suffered that five second penalty we would have got the um we would have got all five points we were expecting some new developments to come through but some of them have failed the quality control oh sure what you Carl? What you'd like redeveloped via the R&D screen oh, our engine upgrade has failed great cheers Carl you have one job Carl and our chassis improvement has failed as well we're going to need to restart that, spend double the points. Um, what else have we got? Oh, we can do our major front wing downforce upgrade. We can develop that. That's spent all our resource points. We did actually accrue quite a few there from the previous races. So intercooler and our durability upgrades have completed. Perfect. Perfect. Oh yeah, it's just the chassis upgrade we're waiting on, the engine upgrade and the aero. Some brake stuff we can get into down here. Some few bits up there. So there's still there's still room for us to uh Upgrade some stuff this season. Major fuel efficiency. Fuel efficiency is not something I'm really struggling for at the minute. But um, it's the only thing we've got available to us because unfortunately our engine department limits us from being able to develop further into the powertrain. 
So, the, yeah, round 18 is next. Japan, Suzuka. We will make sure we take some harder tyres to this racetrack because I would like to qualify on mediums. And um, I'm probably going to take an extra engine here. I am probably going to do it just to be on the safe side. Seeing as we don't really have anything to lose championship-wise at the minute because we have got that gap. So I will see you all in the next video, everybody, where we tackle the Japanese Grand Prix. Goodbye for now, folks.